Hey, what's up? It's the Wing Chun Kid here on the Wing Chun Kid channel, showing you more top 10 Wing Chun and Kung Fu moves. The fourth one is... Fourth one is Tiger Claw, all right? Or the C-Clamp. We'll show you how to use that in just a second. All right, so here's the explanation how to use the C-Clamp or Tiger Claw, all right? Why am I showing this? It's because in Wing Chun, we, in the wooden dummy form, you have the whole pie to it looks like a far, like a fireball from Street Fighter, right? Well, that's the technique. A lot of times, people ask, "Why can you? How can you use that?" Well, let's just modify it and turn them into claws instead. All right? And you see, uh, Hong Kun and a lot of other styles use this. All right? So what can they use for? My favorite attack target will be the throw. Okay? So if you look at the throw here, there's a nice indentation here on this side or this side. So all you do is just grab it and stick your thumb, and as if you're reaching into. The back the of the throw, okay? And he's got a tough neck. He's been, you know, toughening up his neck. And you want to put it right in there, right in this point, where the Adam, right beside the, uh, uh, right beside the Adam's apple, and just dig it in there, okay? So you should be able to feel a nice grip, and you actually can pull on it like. Uh, good. It's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm not you, got, you got right around the vocal. You got right around the uh, tube, air tube. Right. Okay. Right around that, you pull. It feels like it's being pulled out. Okay, so yeah, so it's dangerous, just do it lightly for training, okay? Uh, you can tap, right? But you want to get behind the windpipe and actually grip right, grip the whole windpipe with your arm, with your hand, okay? So that's one way of doing it. Another way you can use it is just grab the hair. If he's got more hair, I can grab, right? Uh, or you can grab the balls and pull like that, okay? So those are your ways you can use a tiger claw. What I just showed in the demonstration is a um, useful technique, especially if you are... Um, uh, shielding to get in, he's punching wildly. The best thing to do is because his punching is coming so fast and wild, it's just coming in, right? So you're punching wild, right? It's just coming in block. Where are your hands now? Right here in the eyes, right here close to the throat. So perfect time to grab the throat, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, okay. And it's good to also grab this arm so you can pull on this one and push on the other one, okay? Sometimes you just push, he's just gonna go backwards, go back. right? Yeah. So it's good to get control of this one. Underarm is be better. Grab this one and push. And then what you want to do is angle it down and push it down. Yeah, that they'll way. go down. Okay, they'll go down. Okay, they'll go down. They'll go down. Right, because nobody wants to push against a, a thumb with your throat. Yeah, it's not comfortable, right? No, okay. not at all. Okay, so you got this here. You got this here. Push in and down. Okay, what well, you might also want to do is kick out the legs. Like that. Okay, once he's down, finish him off with a hammer into the nose, or to the balls, or stomp to the ribs, and back off. All right, so that's the C-clamp. Uh, military use this too. All right, so that's how you can use this uh, technique in self-defense. Hey, thanks for watching my video, my top 10 Wing Chun and Kung Fu moves. Some of these moves are not traditional Wing Chun. They're based on Wing Chun principles, and a lot of them are from other Kung Fu styles. So what I've done is just collaborated all of them together and giving you the top 10 of my favorite moves that you can learn uh, right away. It's not too difficult to learn these moves and they're also practical for real self-defense. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Thanks Larry for helping me out. Yeah, thanks I appreciate uh, letting you help out. Okay, awesome. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and also check out some other lessons here on this channel. All right, so we see you in the next lesson.